Videos here with a quick video tutorial on how to take your videos from looking like this to the professional level that we expect and require in online public speaking. So as you're looking at this shot here, first thing you'll notice is that my head is cut off. There's no headroom above my head. And if you think about what you see on television and YouTube, we are accustomed to seeing people framed in a way that we can see all of the space around their head. We'll work on that a minute when we correct this shot. The other thing that you might notice is over here, you can see my bookshelf. And this is something of a distraction for the audience. Other distractions might be a bed or unmade bed behind you, clutter a mess, maybe use this as an opportunity to tidy up your workspace and make it look more professional for the new year. Other major issues in this video, it's very dark and that makes the resolution poor and it makes it more difficult for you as an audience member to see me. Now, other things we'll work on, I'm wearing a hat, big no-no. I'm also wearing clothes with words on them and you wanna avoid that because it's a distraction. So let's look at how you can take your videos from looking before coffee to more professional. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the room light. And immediately you're gonna notice that the lighting gets much better for my video. Still have the issue of my headspace is off and there's this distraction. But something you can try, I have a desk lamp on my desk a very simple light like this and watch the difference when I put this near my monitor and turn on the light. So what you'll notice is I now have much better definition in my face. You as the audience can better relate to me non-verbally because you can see my facial expressions. Now something else you can try that I strongly recommend is using a clamp light such as this one. These are fairly simple. Many of the, you probably have them already. You could borrow one. They can be had for about $5 at Dollar General. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this light and as advertised, I am going to clamp it somewhere near my monitor. You could clamp on your monitor if you wish. And now we're going to turn on this light and see how we can use this light to better light our shot. So that's a pretty hot light right there. And we wouldn't want that either because you notice how it's washing out the side of my face. You can try adjusting your light, perhaps bouncing it off the monitor behind you and finding that sweet spot where you're really well lit. We'll do the final adjustments on that in a moment. Now, once you have your lighting improved, something I want you to think about is both headroom but also the angle of how the audience is viewing you. So if I were to simply tilt my monitor up in order to improve my framing, you'll notice that this is sort of a strange angle and the audience, you, are looking down at me. Whenever you are looking down at something, think of looking down at a small child or a dog, that tends to imply that you as the speaker are not as powerful as you could be. Now, the opposite problem um, that many people encounter when using cell phones is the phenomenon of not just looking down, but you might also have the phone pointing up at you where we'd be looking right up your nose and we don't want that either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna level this monitor. I'm also going to adjust the framing so that you can no longer see that bookshelf in the background. And I'm gonna try backing my chair up. Now, I realize this makes it a little more difficult to press the record button, but you can have a moment or two to pause at the beginning of your recordings and get into your position. Now, alterna alternatively, you could use a shorter chair. I'm gonna show you what this looks like with me swapping out my normal desk chair for a shorter chair where I can again level my shot. Get the chair out of the background for you. Level my shot and have a much nicer 
view for the audience. Now, one more trick that you may wish to try. If you have some big books, which I had many of these from when I attended the UF Law School, you can take these books and you can do one of two things with them. If your chair is too short, you can sit on them, much like we do for a small child. If your monitor is too low, then you can actually stack these underneath your monitor to raise it so you have a more level shot. So once we have the shot that we want, that looks professional, there's nothing too distracting in the background, although you can see my collection of vintage trunks, let's address how you look as the speaker. So the first thing you're going to want to do is lose any hats that you have because hats hide our eyes. They cast shadows upon our eyes. The next thing you want to do is wear something business casual or professional. This would certainly mean nothing that you wore to the gym and nothing with words on it. So I'm going to lose this Santa Fe shirt and go to my favorite thing to wear when recording videos, something black and not distracting. It really puts the focus on you as the speaker. So once you've had these things set up, this is sort of your basic setup for recording a speech video. And when you're doing this, you're going to notice that it's a lot less distracting. It's a lot easier to focus on your message as a speaker. And you look very professional for future employers who might come across your video on YouTube. Now, if you have any questions about this, please let me know. If not, I look forward to seeing your first speech video.